Hi, welcome to working principle of extendable hashing session. Uh, here we should uh, get the input data uh, that should be converted into a binary format. Then uh, that binary digit has to be applied into the hash function that should be uh, creating the hash value for the binary digits. Then based upon that binary digits, we have to create the directory which is pointing the memory buckets. Uh, here uh, like this, we have to create the uh, directory based upon the uh, given binary digits then which is pointing towards the bucket, memory bucket. Uh, then uh, pass the data into the memory bucket to store into that uh, memory location. So whichever data we have converted that into binary digit. Suppose I am having the uh, I am having the two. So for two we have to convert the uh, data into binary digit. So for the binary digit is here uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 is for the two. Then that's that based upon that we have to apply the hash function for this um, uh, binary digits. Then based upon that, we have to point out the memory location. That's then that given one zero will be stored in the data here. That one zero is for uh, one zero is only for the hash index. That two will be stored in the given memory bucket. So first step, analyze the data. Uh, what are the data elements exist in uh, in the uh, given input? That may be integer or string or float, etc. For example. Uh, integer 49, um, uh, string Kevin and float is 2.35. So it has to be converted into the uh, binary format based upon the given data. For example, here for string elements, we can use the ASCII value uh, which is equivalent to integer uh, that is uh, convert then convert into the integer into binary. For example, for 49, we are converting into the binary which is 11001. Uh, then we have to check the uh, global depth of the directory. Uh, uh, assume the global depth of the hash directory is 2 as of now. Uh, if the global directory is 2, uh, based upon that, we have to identify the index uh, for the 49. Index for the 49 in global directory uh, based upon the binary digits. So it will consider the most significant bits in the binary number. Sometimes uh, some of the authors will use least significant bits also. Here I am using the most significant bits to refer the index in a directory. Uh, so here uh, this is the uh, given binary digit for the 49. So we, uh, we uh, our global depth is uh, uh, 2 we have considered here. Uh, then based upon that hash function will return two ms base that is one one in the most most significant bit of given binary value that is one one so now the hash index will uh, have global depth is uh, two so zero 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 one one zero one one so this will point out the memory bucket that memory bucket will have the value 49 based upon the global depth Two here which is also uh, maybe less than or equal to the global depth the local depth right uh, so this index this directory index is navigating uh, navigating to identify the bucket where uh, that uh, 49 has to be stored by using the 11 that's what here navigated by using the 11 to identify the memory bucket so when you are inserting the data 49 we have to check the bucket status is free or not so initially the bucket is free so we have inserted that into the inserted 49 into that memory buckets otherwise suppose i am going to uh, i am going i am having one more value with uh, index 11 so like this right so uh, if i am having like this uh, suppose i am having like this for uh, uh, 50 then I cannot store the 50 right if it is overflow so but here log global depth is 2 so I can store the 50 also here I can store the 50 also here but if it is 51 one more time then I will get 11011 so here again 
I am getting 1 1 but here bucket is overflowing now if bucket is overflowing now then we cannot store the uh, 51 value in this memory bucket because of already local depth is 2 so we have to increase the global depth as per the directory uh, size so that should be uh, done based upon the uh, um, forthcoming steps so when overflow is occurring in the during the uh, data insertion we have to handle that bucket overflow uh, based upon the local depth is equal or less than to the global depth the first case here you look at that if when overflow is occurring so here our bucket is having uh, 1 1 which is uh, global depth of the directory is 2 here my uh, local depth of the directory is also 2 so here 49 stored and 50 stored so now I go I want to insert 51 which is also having 1 1 0 1 1 binary value so I have to store in this bucket only but here which is overflowing which is overflowing when overflow occurs we have to check either global depth is uh, equal to local depth or uh, the local depth is less than the global depth if uh, local depth is equal to global depth yes here look at that local depth is equal to the global depth then apply the bucket split and directory expansion we have to expand the directory into uh, global depth 3 then our directory will be expanded with uh, 3 binary digits ok so 2 power 3 will be equal to 8 number of mem 8 number of directory IDs so 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 uh, 1 0 triple 1 so this is the uh, uh, directory which is having uh, 2 power 3 that is 8 IDs then you can store the or uh, store the values based upon the 3 significant bits 3 significant bits so based upon 3 significant bits then you have to uh, store in the uh, memory buckets so that's what given here so when bucket is equal to the global depth apply the directory expansion that we have done and bucket also we have to split okay bucket also we have to split so by using the number of uh, number of uh, msbs based upon global depth 3 uh, here directory when you are expanding previously it was 2 power 2 equal to 4 now you look at that double the directory so 8 now so 4 plus 4 8 that is 2 power 3 right if uh, the case 2 is if in case of local depth is less than the global depth suppose here I am having global depth is 3 my uh, bucket is having uh, here local depth is 2 local depth is 2 I am storing the 49 and 50 if in this case only I have to apply the bucket split no need to do the uh, directory expansion because global depth is here higher than the local depth that is the thing if local depth is uh, less than the global depth only apply the bucket split uh, so after bucket splitting we have to rearrange the elements that means uh, 49 uh, so based upon the three significant bits here in this example we have to rearrange the elements that is called rehashing so here when you are rearranging the elements uh, the number of elements may be moving in moving between the newly created bucket and the old bucket then finally we can successfully or uh, hash the elements that means store the elements into the memory bucket thanks for watching